and we want to go forward. We're not going to hide ourselves behind walls. We're not going to close it all up and get all tense and tight. All we want to do is be normal, if you can be normal in AFL football after a draw. But we want to make sure that tonight we're going to be here for an hour, an hour and a half. We want to make sure that we can talk to one another, talk to our family, relay the hurt from, from some time today and the, and the elation of some of the things that took place, the great smother we saw Nick do, the contest of Dorsey when he was hand passed to Trav in the goal square and got us back in the game, the run of Daisy, the crashing of Brownie, and all those sorts of things. We can share those because you know what? We're all Collingwood and we're all, all family. So we will go forward and we will learn from my past and I'll relay that to my assistant coaches, but we'll also relay that information to one bloke who I've got the utmost faith in, and that's David Butterfin. And his task, <laughs> there'll, be no rest, there'll be no rest for him, believe me. His task is to get the players back and ready to play very early in the week. So we have a week leading into the next game, next part of the game, where we can hit the road running, ready to go again against a very good football side. Make no mistake about it. St Kilda are a wonderful football side. They've lost, what, five games or six games in two years. We're up against a good, solid opponent. They deserve respect and they're going to get respect. But... Thankfully, no more Brownlows, no more other nights that you have to be out Swanee <laughs> or Penders or anyone else. That's it behind us. We will now focus in on the week that we'll see Dane Swan at 21 possessions. I think it was the lowest possession rate he's had all year. Get rid of it. Penders, 5 and 14, get rid of it, etc. That's only two players. Not taking anything away from the Saints because you only play as well as your opponents let you. And I'm bemused at sometimes when people say, geez, Collingwood have had an easy run through the finals. We played the Dogs who were fourth, we played the Cats who were second. Now we played the Saints who were third. You only play as hard and as long as you possibly can to win those games the way we did through playing hard, desperate football, which we did, which we know about. Our game structures won't change, our systems won't change, the 31 will still train, and 22 will run down the race. If we treat this as a loss, it will be. If we treat this as an opportunity, it will be. If we treat this the way we've rebounded right through this year, then you can go in with the utmost confidence that we will give it one hell of a shake. And that's all we can give you. Is that I'll be very brief for the rest of it. I will not make any rash predictions. I will not get up here and say anything that, that would embarrass um, the, uh, the, our opponents who are, have been grand, but I firmly believe that the resolve, the leadership of Nick and his leadership group, the youth, the endeavour and the 100 metres shy of Mount Humphreys in minus 25 to, what was it, minus 40 degrees, when it was 100 metres left and we were sitting there freezing, literally freezing, and the decision is, do you go to the top or do you go back? And every player went to the top. That is our inspiration. Thank you very much.